Hi, I'm Rachel Lynchen. I'm a teacher and an administrator at a local school in the area. I am 50 years old. I've been a Kana member since I think December of 2018. <laughs> I grew up in the Fort Washington area. I went to Germantown Academy. I graduated from there. I did sports all throughout middle school and high school. The total private school things of field hockey and lacrosse are super useful in your normal life. I played lacrosse in college also. And I've always been a runner and pretty active. So yeah, I think I've always belonged to a gym, like even in my young adult life and through adulthood, parenthood been either belonged to a gym, worked out at home, and definitely been pretty consistently been a runner. I've always been a big runner, and Dave, my husband, who is also a Kana member, is a big mountain biker. And we sometimes do those things together, like he'll ride and I will run, but we both really like doing that, and we both like working out. And I think I was feeling, I don't know, like, Running is great, but you know, I had run two marathons and that's that was gonna be, I'm gonna top out at a marathon. And at a certain point, I started thinking, you know, I probably should cross train more. I'm getting older. I like learning new things. And I think I was like looking for gyms in the area and you guys popped up in some Google search. And I need one of the, one of the things that I was looking for is a gym that had classes at 5.30 or earlier. Because I'm a teacher, I have a hard start at 7.30. I don't have the kind of job where I can roll in, work out, roll in at nine, that's not my life. And you guys did, and you were really close. You were under 10 minutes away from my house, and it looked cool. I drove by, like lightly stalked the area and your social media, and I told Dave, I was like, I think we should go look at it. Maybe you would like it too. And yeah, he was totally skeptical. He was like, it seems like a lot of money. <laughs> like, I don't know, Rach, like, I'm not really sure. And I was like, well, can you just like come with me? Maybe you'll like it, you know, keep an open mind. Cause we've never really worked out together like that. And we did, we came over, we met you. The day we came, it was a Saturday and they were doing, this is in the smaller gym and they were doing some workout with, now that I think back, I'm like, oh my God, they were doing like burpees over bar and something else. I don't know, it was kind of insane, which now I know how hard what they were doing was, but it seemed, there was definitely all levels in the room. It wasn't just total like meathead. It seemed like people that we could hang with as active, other like active adults. In the beginning, it is like, it's a little intimidating, even if you're an athletic person. I mean, I had played sports and done things my whole life, but I'd never worked out with a barbell before like I remember the first time like having to ask someone like how do you take the clip off like because when you do the base camp you guys sort of do that for us and you're not lifting that much weight right so but people were just really really nice from the beginning and now when I look back at the 530 class because I've pretty consistently gone to that the whole time you know there are people in that class that are like really like serious crossfitters like someone like Sarah who's been coming since the beginning and is like a pro jock like everyone was really welcoming and even if I was like you know doing something on the rig you're like you know taking the bar off the rack and pressing and you know Sarah can do probably three times as much weight as I can but she doesn't care she doesn't mind working out with me and vice versa <laughs> everyone was really nice everyone was really welcoming and you know the the teachers were all like they you've rotated through since from five years ago they explain everything to everyone every time so like the, the field is leveled in every single class. Like it doesn't matter. Sometimes we have a 530 class in here where like everyone has been coming for multiple years. Everyone knows how to clean, but we still like do the same progression like every time. And I think there's something now that like I'm thinking saying out loud, there's something incredibly equitable and inclusive about that, right? Not making any assumptions about where anyone is in their workout practice or in their skills or just how they're feeling on that day. Like you can have done it a million times, but on some morning you're just like, like, right, I do really need to review exactly how to do that so that I do it right, do it the best way I can, certainly don't hurt myself. I mean, Dory, who was an instructor early on, said, no one gives a shit how much you lift. And it really is true, like, no one cares.
years. I think it's helpful, especially if you do feel nervous, like you're new and you're not really sure because you don't really know. Like, I don't really know how much I can deadlift. Like, I have no concept of what that is. It gives you like a benchmark of where to start. So like, if you're generally doing orange, it's gonna tell you to deadlift 85 pounds for the workout. And if you put it on your bar and you're like, that is way too light or way, too, well, it's never way too light, but like some coach will notice like, that's way too light for you. Like you should put more weight on the bar. But if it's way too heavy, you're like, oh, no, that's not really what I mean. So I do think, I think it's nice and it takes the guesswork out maybe, especially if you do feel like, I no longer feel intimidated about asking anyone any questions, but I think in the beginning, if you're like, ooh, I'm nervous, I'm not sure, it just gives you like a place to start. So I don't know, it was like in the summer and I was like, I really wanna do this. I'm gonna turn 50 in December. It's like a good six month starting point. And I just kind of decided that I was gonna try to do it. And the only way to do it is to get up to the bar and to try to do it and to do lots of negatives and to do the ones where you're like not quite at the top and you look sort of ridiculous and do banded ones. And I was like, if I try to do this a couple times, like every time I come to the gym, and maybe like once, you know, if I'm at home on the weekend, I'll get it. And yeah, and I did. But it was good to, it's good to have like a goal like that. I mean, marathoning is the same thing, right? You have, you know this, like you have a goal, you have a training plan, and I didn't really have a strict plan. But I think if you just, just spending like a couple minutes after class, you can achieve something like that if you if that's like your jam, if that's something you want to do. I think for me, working out in whatever form, and again, even if it's just like this morning, I just went for a walk for, I took my dog for a walk for 40 minutes. Whatever it is, like doing something active is one of the few times that I can completely unplug, step away. I have a really demanding job. Being a parent of two teenagers is no joke. It's a demanding, like, personal like set of obligations and responsibilities. It will not surprise you here. I have really high expectations of myself. I can sometimes be a perfectionist. <laughs> I work really, really hard and I pride myself on that, but I also know it's not healthy. You can't be on in that mode all the time. And I can be a worrier and I can be anxious. And so sometimes like I'll be in, you know, I had it, my job changed a little bit last year, or the year before. I've never worked harder in my life. I've never sort of had that high level level of work stress and coming here at 5.30 in the morning was like an hour of like blessed silence inside my head. It's like, it's like, you know, when there's like a buzzing light and then it goes off and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so much better. That was so annoying. I find this place and running can do that for me too. Like that you get, that I can get in a completely zen like outside of all of that space. I think it's a place where people are genuinely really nice. I mean, the you've coached 5.30, we're not always the most warm and fuzzy group. At 5.30 in the morning, people can be a little like grumpy and it's tired and it can be quiet. It's certainly when it starts, but everyone I think really cares about each other and not like in an intrusive, like in your business. I think people respect each other's space, but I think people are genuinely really nice. I think it's a place where you can learn to do hard things. Like it is hard to do some of the stuff that we do, like you have to practice. Like I am much better now at doing stuff that I was certainly five years ago, one year ago. Like, so there's pleasure in like practicing something over and over again. It's a really supportive environment because as adults, we don't get to do that very much anymore to have like a learner's mind, a beginner's mind about something. I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. Gyms aren't cheap. And I think if you're gonna pay money, you wanna go to a place where people, where like people work hard, where the instructors are really, really good, where the equipment is really good, where it's really clean, where classes start on time and are run well. I'm a little bit of a stickler about stuff like that. But I think that really matters. Like it's run well as a business and not all gyms, I know you know this, are like that. So I think that's really great. And I think it's just a really nice community it's a place where people cheer for you and not in an obnoxious way. Dave and I were discussing this. Like, <laughs> like he was like, yeah, I mean, I'm not like a big cheer. And I was like, yeah, but you like, you do like cheer for other people and like fist bumps at the end. And it's not out of pity when you're the last person to finish. It's like legitimately people are like, let's go, you got this. And I think that that's really nice. And it's hard in this serious and sometimes cynical world to find 
places where adults unabashedly cheer for each other. That's a really like lovely, lovely thing to bring into the universe, not to be too schmoopy. And it's a good way to start your day. Even if you're really tired, like you go and I never, I mean, there are mornings where I'm like, I do not really feel like doing this. And I put my feet on the floor, but I never like walk out and think, well, I wish I hadn't come. That's never happened to me. I'm always glad that I came, even if it was really hard, even if I felt like I sucked on that particular day, um, even if I was really slow, I never regret it. I never regret coming. Mm -hmm.